Welcome, folks, to this episode of the Beer Show. Like always, I am your host, Frédéric Bouchard. And today, as you can see, it's a beautiful day outside, so I thought I would bring my little beer outside and do the review there. Uh, also, I'm trying to uh, enjoy it a little bit because this weekend it is announcing three full days of hard rain. So, I'm trying to soak in a little bit of sun. So today I am drinking a beer from uh, Les Brasseries La Nouvelle France. Uh, well, actually, they have. This is sometimes what I don't like. It's written here Micro Brasserie Nouvelle France, and there you have Les Bières de la Nouvelle France Inc. So it's like, which one is your official name? I I'm pretty sure that this is the official incorporated name that they send to the provincial uh, business districts and everything. So I will go with that actually, Les Bières de la Nouvelle France. So uh, this is a brewery from uh, Saint Alexis des Monts. This is a uh, Red Hill, also you can call it Amber Hill. It's the same thing, it's just it depends where you're from. Uh, in Quebec we actually call it a Russe, which would pretty much uh, translate to a uh, red hair. So, just so you guys can see the bottle, it will do a little spin. Boop, 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 boop. Um, it is a 4.5 alcohol by volume product, served it, of course in a 341 milliliter bottle. It's not too expensive, and uh, this brewery has been going in the gluten free product in the last years. However, this is absolutely not, this is their normal kind of beer. Um, and what? yeah, let's go. There is a little story about this. It's the legend of the of the Sorcerer's Lake. I'll put the story in the description below, so don't be shy if you want to read about this. I'm not gonna go ahead and and, and uh, read you guys. All right, pour. Oh, I got a tree falling on my head. Yeah, let's put the beer here. This way, it's not too much in the way. And let's go. So, typical red hail color to it, like deep orange with a reddish color in it. You have absolutely no head, uh, it's not there. And like, of course, I opened the bottle up before, but uh, even on the first pour, there was absolutely no, uh, uh, sorry, no head. There is still carbonation going on though, but it's not catching on enough to put a little color on that nice little beautiful ruby colored beer. Oh yes, nice little typical red head, huh? uh, red hair, sorry. It's nice sweetness, you can smell a little bit of the hop, you can smell those roasted uh, barley uh, grain. A little bit of fruitness in there, maybe goes with the sweetness, I might say. Let's go for that taste. Nice refreshing taste to it. Little caramel taste, caramel taste, sorry. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, typical. Red hail, amber hail, depending on where you're from and how you call them. No, no, not really an aftertaste. So it goes, it fades away pretty quickly in the mouth, which is always good. Sometimes when you get too much of an aftertaste, you're like, yeah, yeah. this is what happens with stouts. Like if you follow my. Uh, my weekly episode like stouts I need to uh, drink a uh, uh, water with that because it's so like but this you absolutely don't have it I was just giving an example um, what else like I said sweetness um, caramel yeah nothing out of this world 
has to bring me like, oh wow, oh wow, banana, oh my god, orange. No, no, it's typical red ale. Uh, not glam, but not over the top flavor wise, but it's good. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. It's a great product. It wasn't expensive, also. If I remember right, I paid $1.79 for that product, which is really affordable. Like, this is what I think should be paid for beers, you know? If it's a beer up there, maybe two bucks. If it's like a hundred on a scale, on a 341 milliliter bottle, for then okay, maybe 250 for the bottle. But more than that, to me, is completely a waste of money and it's not justifiable. You're just trying to make money on our backs. And I'm sorry, I will not buy your product. So, um, yeah, that being said, guys, um, uh, I'm gonna be doing, I'm not giving any specific dates, but I'm gonna be going in uh, Ontario and probably in the United States to collect beers. I'm not saying I don't like the beer, the Quebec products, not at all. It's just that I feel I've done sort of a, you know, I, I've seen pretty much a lot of the product. It's also the same kind of genetic of the products, uh, same kind of, um, also knowledge that they're brewed so maybe if I'm I'm telling myself if I go in Ontario or in Vermont I'm gonna be you know tasting different product so don't worry I'm still gonna be drinking beer products from Quebec I'm still gonna be doing reviews about them uh, I'm probably gonna try to switch places where I buy them because I've been hanging a lot at Peluso um, what else uh, yeah, sometimes so I'm gonna try to go a different place, maybe uh, around uh, not only in Montreal, but yeah, of course, in Montreal. We have really good uh, beer selling places. So, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really interesting thing. I'm gonna do a little road trip, like not too far away, huh? Ontario. I gotta drive maybe two hours and I can do a nice little circle and do like a couple of LCBOs, probably beer stores, maybe, maybe even like a couple of uh, specialized uh, beer sale places and uh, I can do something solid, come back with quality product. Uh, not necessarily only from Ontario because LCBOs, they, they have a lot of imported product from the United States, but also from the Europe, which we cannot find here in the SAQ. Yeah, thank you of course for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to get all of the videos first hand. Uh, and I'm not only talking about those beer videos, I'm talking of course about those track and field videos, about the dogs videos, about the tutorial on shaving. I'm gonna put it uh, if you remember last week I had a like a like a little crown, I did a tutorial on that posted. Uh, what else? I'm gonna be covering Jeunes Quebec in Montreal. Uh, well it's actually in Longueuil. Uh, early October. Uh, October. Wow. <laughs> early October. <laughs> August. October. No. August. That was nice. I like the October. Yes. It's like dark. No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so uh, I will not only cover track and field competition. Um, I think I am gonna go with this volley, the beach volleyball, and I'll also saw BMX races. Uh, so I'm trying to, you know, diversify a little bit. As you saw, I posted uh, videos of uh, parkour, skateboarding, and uh, wake skate recently. And honestly, I was overwhelmed by the popularity of those videos, especially that I didn't necessarily put a lot of uh, effort in the sharing process because it's one thing to do a video, but after that, you have to properly edit it. You have to put it on YouTube and then nice description and then the sharing starts because I can put a video on YouTube, go back to it a week later, it will probably have five views. Uh, but uh, like if it's an, an interesting subject and it's well indexed, then of course people will simply look at it, share it, and you're in business. All right, so enough with the small talk. Uh, of course, you can like the videos, share them, and uh, like always, I'm really grateful that you watched this episode with me. Cheers, guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy the week. Uh, enjoy uh, this nice weather today because, uh, fortunately, well, when I'm recording this on July 24th, in the weekend, it's gonna be awful. It's gonna be. It's gonna. Suck. So on this, take care, guys. Bye.